time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, April 12th on a Friday. Hope everybody's having a good day. It's been a decent little day, all things considered. Uh, for me, I've got, so my one account on Zero DTE, up, up a couple thousand. Um, had a couple of re-entries stopped out for profits. I had one full stop out on a 3-2. Another one-to-one -one stop out for a profit. My rut hedge is up. My one DTE survived. It's slightly green. My NDX is down. I'm currently in a 3-2, which I've already hit 30% and reduced. And I'm in a 1-1, which I have not reduced yet. I uh, got in a that one DTE quad 40 that I mentioned a few days ago. And then in my challenge portfolio, I'm up uh, a little over 4,000. Stopped out for a profit on a one-to-one, -one, stopped out for a profit on a three-two, stopped out for a profit on a one-to-one, -one, had a full stop out on a three-two. My one DTE still live at 15%. Three-two reduced, still in. And then the one, my one-to-one -one I'm in have not reduced yet. So that is it for me. How's the uh, TLC crew, Chad? Yeah, so a little hairy earlier, but light trading. I, I haven't haven't traded that much. Um, let's see. I just got filled on something, but uh, let's see here. Uh, my number one, real nice trade. Um, put it on at ten fifteen central. Got out of twenty percent. 40% and then uh, ended up just closing it when it looked like things were going to get out of control. Um, out of control some, they did. Yeah. And then got, <laughs> then got some money out of my puts 40 cents. So, uh, and then uh, let's start number one, put it on and um, ended up closing it early too, because that was about the time of the second push down. And I just, so that was a little bit of a loser, um, but 1100 bucks. I saved it from being a full loss. And um, then I have a power hour on that I think, yeah, I just got filled on 20%. So that's where I'm at. Oh, and my NDX is still in play. It is not outside yet. Yeah, Mauro. So my one, uh, my one DTE in my challenge portfolio, I use 60 wide wings. So I'm not sure what you use on that one, but um, that one got to that one only that one, you know, I've used a six dollar stop is down three bucks at one point. So it wasn't that one wasn't even close. On my other one. In the other account, I used dollar Y uh, one dollar wings, sold the sevens by the by the one dollar. And that one, I got lucky on that one because that one got to almost six bucks. Almost got to my stop. You can see right there. Got, got it to like five at least. And it survived, so. You know, something I've learned the last couple of days, um, yeah, this has been with the VIX being, you know, up, up past 19. Uh, it's come down a little bit since uh, earlier today, but just, 
you know, it's the first time I put on any of these TLC trades during a higher VIX. And I've really noticed that the later in the day, obviously, but it's not something that clicked until I actually started doing the trades. Um, the morning TLCs, they may not do as good or it may just take longer. Um, where these, these uh, afternoon ones, they really, they can book quick profits. So my one DTE where I had $1 strikes, look how skewed this is. Look how far away the puts were. Um, so I, I ended up changing that one to 60 wide going forward too. But uh, so that, that was, uh, it was pretty wide with the uh, vol spike that we had. And then my, and then the one DTE in my challenge portfolio, which is an even 60. I like that a little better. It's, a, it's just, you know, a lot more balanced. Yeah, both of them are seven, seven bucks on the shorts. Yep. And here comes tranche number one, down day. Filled on the tens and thirties, so 20 wide. Two to one calls to puts. Yeah, I can exactly. My stop is it's not just on the shorts for one DT, it's on the full iron condor. So tomorrow, I think, so you, you bought 20 cent and 25 cent long. So what I've seen this before too, because I used to buy cheaper, cheaper wings is sometimes you'll get stopped out quicker because, you know, if you're going 60 wide, those longs are protecting the moves a little bit more. So you actually get a little bit more room. For price to move. And of course, Vic spikes as well. Oh, I see. So my one-to-one -one re entry is getting up to 25%. So I'm getting close to reducing that one. I gotta say, man, my uh I'm I'm liking my my re-entry strategy, even with the shenanigans we've seen. I mean, my that uh, challenge portfolio is down not even five percent, four point seven percent month to date even after I had a minus 15% day and a minus 7% day here in the last week. It's pretty, pretty robust. Of course it was up a pretty decent amount for the month before that happened. So, Hopefully we can avoid going through lows a day because I have a feeling if it goes through lows a day here, it might just continue to just fall. Oh, nice yoga delic. I actually, I actually turned it off because I was doing re-entries. And it would have, it would have been just doubling up essentially. So I just turned it off before it fired. Kelvin, your AM just hit 20%. Ooh. Or is that a lunchtime or power hour?
Good question. Your AM1 just hit 20%. <laughs> it's pretty, I'm not sure how that happened, to be honest. I know. <laughs> he must not be on the live stream. Oh, there we go. PH1. That makes more sense. Yeah, I'm worried if it gets through lows, it's just gonna just gonna keep falling. Yeah, new lows is not it's not excite me anymore today. Yeah, I think if it holds, it'll be good. But if not, it could continue just to get ugly. Yeah, I am Lando, so my. Yeah, that's shared with a re-entry trade. We'll see if it bounces off. Well, it just touched lows there. Touched new lows, 5109. VIX is not hitting new highs. <laughs> Yet. I would like to see it bounce here. Yeah, if we could get just one more little bounce, lock in some 30 percenters and some power hours, that'd be, that would be good. S&P down 90, NASDAQ down 350. Russell, the weakest of the bunch, down 46, which is good for my hedge. Dow down 570. Whoa, what happened to gold? Apparently I bailed on that short premium too quick. Wow, look at that reversal. Huh. It shook me out of there. Silver reversed as well. Interesting. Did not see that. Bitcoin down 6%. All sectors red. Metals were green. Stocks, Apple and Walmart still hanging on. Every other stock in my board red. That's uh Apple's had a couple couple nice days. My Nasdaq has to stay above. 179.45 for max profit. Is Bostic speaking right now? Oh, great. <laughs> those guys those guys are something else most of the big red stocks are kind of junky stocks oh, chips are down pretty good meta down two and a half looks like it's gonna hold for now anyway shh don't jinx it. Everybody be cool.
Need a little more, a little more up. Getting close to 30% on my one-to-one. -one. Tranche one is up 11%. I'm going to go light on my calendars today, by the way. As far as position size goes. Did anybody do Wugas? Down day power hour for me, so no Wuga for me. Yeah, is it a Wuga? All right, there's a little bounce. Sir. Reduce my one to one. Rut head is doing good. NDX would have to get back above 18010 to be a winner. What time did you put yours on? Right at the open, always. Yeah, I was at 837 Central. It took me about three or four minutes to get filled. So are you... So you about the same then? Uh it's gotta stay. No, I'm I'm still sitting for max profit. It's gotta stay above. What did I say? Uh, look here. Okay, so you I, so you got basically at the bottom of the five minute candle, maybe. Yeah, it's gotta stay above one seven nine four five. Gotcha. I'm not like liking what I'm seeing with this price action though. Needs to bounce. No floats. I mean, it can stay between 51.10 and 51.20. Yeah, 
20 would be 20 would be good. Yeah. 625 for Wuga. That's a big credit. A little bounce to reduce my other one to one. Elliot, are you playing down day today or are you just doing one to one ratio? I know you're not sitting out, it's not in your DNA. <laughs> that boy follow the herd baby <laughs> all right i'm gonna start doing my calendars starting with the four seven And just hit 40%, my power hour. Posted my four seven. Come on, bounce back up. Oh, there's tranche two just came in. On the 5,100 puts, 5,120 calls, 20 wide, still the 890. Yeah, stay up there, stay up there.
Definitely getting filled a little further away from mid price in these calendars. Than normal. Not liking this. Come on. New lows. Stay up there, little buddy. Yeah, I need NDX to stay up there too. Get on up. NASDAQ cannot go down 10 more points for my NDX. Ah, come on. Resist the temptation. Support? Where's VWAP when you need it? All right, just posted my 475767. At a low of just below 5108. Tranche one's up 34%. <clears throat> There's the little bounce we needed.
30% on my uh, one to one. So that's getting locked down. I'm looking for 40% on tranche one to reduce my stop. It's at 37. Almost there, 38%. Wouldn't mind just holding right here. Yep. Tranche three is going to be coming in in a couple minutes. All right, so the next double calendar I'm going to do is the three six. I just posted my three six tranche three just came in on the O fives and twenty fives. So twenty wide filled at seven fifty five. And just hit forty percent on tranche one, so reducing stop there. And I have hit sixty percent on my power hour. And barring anything crazy, I might be able to just let it expire. Only 
one contract left. NDX, NDX still has a shot. Not a great shot, but it's got a shot. So right here between 10 and 20 is my sweet spot. That includes my three power hour tranches, my remaining one to one ratio, my remaining three two ratio. Here's my NDX. Just in my four six. And just got stopped out for a profit on my three two in my challenge portfolio after I had reduced. Oh, good. Comments from Fed Daily coming. Say what? Got some comments from Fed Daily. I just heard over the financial juice. Oh, no. What time is that? It's at, uh, yeah, 30 seconds from now. Start. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, I'm Ed sitting Daly, so pretty. Go, baby. It, it just favorite, doesn't move. I don't want it to go. Speakers. I don't want to go any direction. Back up to about fifty one twenty.
Tranche two and tranche three are both up about 27%. So I need a little bit more decay. I need 40% to reduce those. Stay up there for the for my NDX. I didn't think there was any chance I was going to be able to be profitable on that NDX trade. Looks like about a dollar credit on that four or five. So what you guys are seeing. There's a little bounce. Tranche two and three actually need it to stay a little bit lower. So let's see, forty nine ninety fifty two fifteen. Yep, it's a little skewed. And that's good right there. Come down just a little bit. Yeah, so uh, my thought on the double calendars, obviously, got a big, you know, risk with all the geopolitical stuff. But as far as from a volatility perspective, I just don't see volatility getting crushed on Monday, which would hurt them. So even though volatility is high, I think it'll stay high over the weekend into Monday. So that's why I'm still comfortable doing them i'm just going lighter size based on the potential movement risk
Stay right there. Don't move. Right there. Forty percent on my tranche three. So I need to reduce that to set that to two bucks. Five so minus a buck. All right, so I got tranche one and tranche three reduced. Tranche three is at 30%. So I need a little bit more out of that one. In my uh, other accounts, I, I put on a power um, a power hour trade, and it's currently at seventy cents. I got filled for a five seventy five, and I have not closed any contracts. I've just reduced my stop every time it would have hit a profit target. Nice. It's so, yeah, so it's going to be almost max profit. Uh, where are you going? Stupid speaker. Stay up there. Charge two. Three. All right, all three reduced. tranches stop reduced, locked in. These darn speakers. So with all my remaining strikes, here's my little profit bubble. Between 10 and 20 is ideal. Stay up there. Mara, wash your mouth out with soap. <laughs> Don't ever let that come out of your mouth again. Don't worry, whenever, you know, if we get to like 25 and on the way back down, you'll, you'll, you'll love it. Yeah, at the money butterflies trading for less than a dollar. No Mahomes. Not surprisingly.
That's what happens. You get used to one environment. As soon as you feel like you just got it under control, it flips on you. That's a good boy. Michael Todd's tearing it up today. Thank you, Power Hour. Wooga's hitting 50%. Nice. Thank you, Power ago. Hour. And my Power Hour is closed at... 50 cents. I don't even know what profit target that was, but I just lowered it to 50 cents. It's got stopped out of trunch too for a profit. Plus 3,115. That's your final on the day? Yep. Nice. Wait a second, that's not right. Entered that in the wrong spot. My PM account is up right now at about 9,000. My challenge portfolio is up about 7,800. About 15 minutes to go. Just keep it steady. I would say you probably don't have a setting wrong, Lando. That was a uh, that was a kind of a quick move. Six eighty five. What was that? Stopped out of my 3-2 for profit in my challenge portfolio. No. Stopped out of tranche 3 for profit. So just a couple little profits on tranche 3 and 2. Tranche 1 still up 60%. But it's going to need to settle down. Need to stay below 30. Between 10 and 30. For my tranche one. And my remaining one to one. Don't look now, but my NDX just went green.
Need Rut to stay weak. But NASDAQ can go ahead and get strong. Hey, Mukesh, check out my trade plan when you get a chance. It'll explain everything in the trade plan channel. My one DTE is now up 37%. So that's got a shot hitting profit target. Coming back from the dead. He's a little more up. So my 85% profit target on my remaining one to one is at a buck 25. That's trading at a dollar 50. Profit target on my one DTE is at 570. It's trading at 670. I don't know if I'd call today a stress-free one DTE, Cody. <laughs> Indy green. Ending well. He didn't get stopped out. Although I guess my 60 wide, it only got to about $3. Are you using 60 wide, Cody? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that one held up way better today. My little uh, quad 40 one DTE is not too far away from profit target. One point five billion buy side is the MOC. No MOC trade. Hit eighty five percent on my one to one, so I'm out of that in my challenge portfolio. Part of it. There we go. There's the rest. Just got my one DTE left in that one. Tranche one is up 81%. Uh, I, I always use net position. Lando.
So here's my remaining tranche one. But that doesn't control your uh, your stop speed. The um, stop speed, like I use PDQ, so I'm not sure if you have something different on that one. Seven minutes to go. My one DTE will get filled in two minutes, currently up 32%. NDX coming through with a late day rally. Yeah, mine, mine says oh, it's down no, 2%. Never mind. 2%. Never mind. I am uh, not in the range anymore. I need another little bounce. Well, I'm in the range, but I'm still negative. Negative. Yeah, it has me at minus 20 bucks. Come on. There's only six minutes left. Oh, crap. What'd you do? I did the wrong. I did the wrong. DTE. Oops. Oh, are, you on, are you on Monday options? Yep. Oh, Close, 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 please. Gosh darn it. Close. How did I do that? And I closed it. My quad 40 hit profit target. Nice. I like, I like that one. That might be going on the plan next month. All this time, I thought I was in range. No wonder I was in range. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It turned out to just be a little tidy loss. $25 loss. <laughs> Finally, a mistake doesn't go Chad's way, everybody. I lost 25 bucks. <laughs> All right. One DTE is closing about 36%. All right, so everything closed in my challenge portfolio. That account is up 
8,200 today. Everything except my Power Hour Tranche 1 is closed and my other account, that one's up. Uh, let's see, my bots did 12,200 in that one. It's a good day for a big move day too. It's those little, you know, if we had those little bounce backs like we had today, I had the last half of the day anyway, it was really choppy too, so that's good. But even the, uh, you know, we had that initial flush, but it had a nice bounce. We had another flush and then we bounced. So that helps. And VIX on the rise, that's right. I'm going to take this tranche one to the bell. As long as it stays above 10, below 30. Have a good weekend, be more trader. Two minutes to the bell, and then I got to run out of here directly to a baseball game. We play tomorrow. I might, I might come out and hang a camera out there. Your place. Yeah. Feel free. Yeah. You can get picture. We'll get pictures and see what's, uh, if the turkeys are coming, coming in that field. Have a good one. Yoga Delic. My rut hedge. Looks like it's going to end profitable, not max profit. Maybe a thousand-ish dollars. NDX, are you going to do it? Can you do it? Right on the bubble. NDX needs a push. A little oomph into the bell. One minute. Mm, that's too bad. So close, Mr. NDX, so close. Still have 30 seconds to prove yourself. Michael Todd, you on the same strikes as me? Max profit would be above 18.010 for me. Ooh, there, it's getting in range. It wants to do it. It wants it. Oh, right. Oh, a little markdown on the NDX. So I'm going to lose, but it's not a max loss. A little partial. Partial loser, about 740-ish. All right, all. Get into the week. See, as far as live stream goes, next week, Monday is the 15th. It's tax day. Get your taxes in. You don't want the IRS after you. We'll be streaming live in the morning. Zero DTE at the open. Back for power hour Monday afternoon. All right, all. Have Take a good care. One. Have a good Peace. night. Cheers.